it's a 2,000 year old piece of, you know, more than that piece of um, a story that means something today, viscerally. It viscerally means something. That's to create, I mean, sometimes I think about my work as um, creating my own immortality. Like some days when I feel like I'm really, I've really been successful in creating work that I'm proud of, that I have in some capacity contributed towards my immortality. And I feel like the Iliad, it, is, it, it lives beyond me and you. It, it will live into the next century. People will be sitting around with cameras and microphones and talking about it hundreds of years from now. That is, I mean, that's what it is to live forever. Stories can do that. Um, yeah, and if I can be a part of that in some way, that's amazing. I'm trying to think of like, the satiricon was always interesting to me. I read, I read the Decameron, uh, only the plague chapter actually, when I was in high school. Um, that was assigned to me. Um, Boccaccio's, I guess that's not really a classical text, but um, I'm trying to think of what else I may have read. Uh, juvenile, we read that one for a comedy class that I took in ancient comedy class. Um, yeah, I mean, the stories are alive. The classics are alive. And, you know, we don't even, th you know, sometimes when we go, especially when you watch superhero movies, I mean, look, the Wonder Woman movie is coming out soon. I mean, that, they're borrowing directly from the classical world and the reinvention of new mythologies. That's it. I mean, I spent a lot of time, I feel like my degree in mythology was really a degree in storytelling. When you go to the movie theater and you like or dislike a movie, there are actually factors into that. You know, they all boil down to you going, yeah, I didn't really enjoy that. But actually, there are, there's a reason that you didn't enjoy it. There's a, there is, or, and a reason that you, or a reason that you did. And understanding how st the science of storytelling which is what the classics can do, uh, I think can, can train a generation of writers that, that can um, make art that is timeless and worth seeing for years and years and years to come. So, and that's why I'm a playwright more than a screenwriter, because it's, playwriting is that, it's the old form of storytelling, and you can't get away with uh, things that you can get away with movies because the playwright cannot direct your eyes. I can't, I can't bombard you like that and trick you into thinking that you're being stimulated. I have to stimulate you here and here in order for you to have an experience in the theater. And I mean, that is what Sophocles could do. And we are working in that same tradition.